Hey guys! Okay, for this video, you're gonna need 10 cans, three stuffed animals or pillows, and a basket. I'm going to show you what to do, and then we're gonna do it together. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so for this first one, you're gonna need three stuffed animals and a basket. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up stuffed animal number one, do a candlestick, pipe down, and drop the stuffed animal. Then candlestick and lower back down. When we get done with all three, we're gonna pick them back up and put them back into the basket. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Pick up stuffed animal number one, candlestick, pipe down, and drop it. Candlestick, lower, stuffed animal number two, Candlestick, pike, drop it. Candlestick, lower. Now number three. Candlestick, pike, drop it. Candlestick, lower. Now we're gonna pick them back up. Get ready, now candlestick, pick it up. Candlestick, lower. Candlestick, pick it up. Candlestick, lower. Number three, candlestick. <laughs> pick it up, candlestick, lower. I messed that one up a little bit. For the next two, you are gonna need one stuffed animal. We are gonna start in a plank for this one and you are gonna slide the stuffed animal to your feet and then pull it up with your other hand, then slide it to your feet and pull it up. Okay, are you ready? Get in a plank position, hold the stuffed animal, slide it to your feet. Now pull it up with the other hand. Slide it to your feet. Now pull it up with the other hand. Keep going. Make sure your arms are straight and your legs are straight. You're squeezing your booty when you slide back out into a plank. Make sure you're holding a really good plank. You're not letting your booty fall. Not letting your belly sag. You got this. Almost done. Getting so close. Just a few more. Okay, and you're done. Okay, lay on your back with the stuffed animal in your hand. We're gonna switch it to our feet and then switch it back to our hands. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I was a little behind. <laughs> Okay, so for this next one, we are gonna need one stuffed animal and three cans. What you're gonna do is you're gonna sit in a straddle. You're going to slide can number one out. Do this with me. Slide can number one towards that foot. Slide can number two towards your other foot. And can number three is gonna go in the center. You can push them with your fingertips a little farther like I'm about to do in a second. This is so that when you reach the stuffed animal, it doesn't actually touch the can. Now, you're gonna lift your hands above your head. If you can sit with your straddle against a wall, that would be great. Then we're gonna reach to one side, to the middle, and then down to the other side. Then back to the middle. Make sure that your knees are pointing to the ceiling. 
and that you're trying to keep your booty on the ground. Don't lift your booty lift up. Each time, make sure you come all the way up against the wall. Mm. Trying to push with our lower back down as we go down. For the next couple, we're going to need 10 cans. The first one, we are going to do crunches with the cans. We're going to lift them up, pull them past our knees, and over to the other side. You want to make sure you're going right across your knees. Are you ready? I have 10 cans. I'm pushing them against the wall in a line. Your knees can be bent. And then let's go. Lift up, pull them across your knees, set it down on the other side. Remember that the harder you work, the more muscle you can get. Keep going. Make sure you're lifting it up by your knees and then back down. By your knees, back down. By your knees and back down. You got this, keep going until you're all the way done with all the cans and then put them all the way back to the wall. Lift up, back down. You got this. We're almost done. Okay, so for this next one, you are gonna push your booty against the wall and then we are gonna stack the cans. For some of you, this will be really easy. Okay, ready? Make sure your booty is all the way against the wall and your heels are against the wall. Then you're gonna grab a can, put it in front of you. Grab a can from the other side and put it in front of you. And then we're gonna start to stack them. This whole time I want you to make sure that your booty is against the wall. You should be feeling a stretch. This is pretty hard for me to do, but some of you it will be easier. If it's easier, you can try and put the cans farther away. And we're almost done. Okay, and you're done. Okay, so for this next one, you're gonna put the cans on the side of you, and then you're going to stack them all the way around you to the other side. Once you get them all the way to the other side, we're going to bring them all the way back. But on the way back, you're going to bring them across your front instead of across your back. Okay, here we go. Make sure your heels are squeezing and you're lifting your chest up high and stacking all the cans. I'm stacking them in rows of five. There's still ten cans. You can do it. Make sure your legs are super straight. You're doing great, you got this. Keep going. Doesn't matter how fast you're going. For this next one, you are gonna use eight cans. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do a handstand against the wall and then you're going to stack the cans on each other in groups of two. So, do one side, stack the can, then do the other side, stack the can. Then do one side, stack the can, then do the other side, stack the can. Then we're gonna bring the can that's stacked on top back down where it was originally. Do the alternating sides every time until they're back in two pairs. For this next one, we're gonna use two cans. We're going to straddle up, put the cans down, hollow, and then grab the cans from the outside of our legs. Ready? Let's go. Straddle, hollow, grab, hollow, straddle, hollow, grab, hollow.
follow. Keep going. Now make sure you try and keep your legs straight. I know I have a little bend once in a while and if you need to have a little bend, you can, but try to squeeze your legs straight. I know that it's hard. This is quite the workout. And we're almost done. There we go. 